Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to access Nelly Design's library and how to download the files from it, how to upload it to Cricut Design Space and also I will show you the difference between SVG files, DXF files, PNG files and PDF files. Okay, first off, on nellydesign.com, you're gonna see on the menu, there's library. And you can either get a password if you don't have it or access the library. So let's go and access the library. And now you're gonna come up to the page where you need to enter the password. Now, a little note on that, the password is always at the bottom of each of my email you receive. So if you forgot about it, uh, you just need to go to an email and find it it's pretty easy and you just type it in and click enter so you might go directly to that page if you already typed it in a couple of times and uh, your browser remembers it so here's the library and it's uh, categorized uh, chrono chronologically um, so the new projects are near the, t near the top and I always write new uh, at the end of the project, so you know it's a pretty recent one. So here we have the cut files. We have the first, it's Cricut, Cricut, Cricut Help. It's my five function uh, cheat sheet that's right here in case uh, you uh, misplaced it or something. And all the cut files are right here. So you're gonna have the first um, link will be the cut file. And the second one is going to be the tutorial associated to that cut file. So it's, it says, see the tutorial here. So for this, I'm going to take the first one. And when you click on it, it's going to bring you to Google Drive. Now, if you are not logged in to your Google Drive, this is what you'll see. And or if you don't have a Google Drive, this is what you'll see. And now I'm just going to uh, make it so you see it as a list, because what I want to show you is that at the top, you always have the instruction on, on how to uh, download them. <clears throat> and um, you need to, excuse my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather uh, this week, so <laughs> I hope it's okay. <clears throat> so, um, and uh, you always have all the files that I have here, I always offer them to you in a different formats. DSVG is the one that you're gonna use in Cricut Design Space. And the other files that I have, you'll see they're always um, written with a little uh, capital letters at the end because now you see the extension right here in Google Drive, but in your browser later on, you might not see it. So always write in capital letters what are the files so you you don't get any mistakes. So like I said, the SVG file is the scalable vector graphic format. So that's the one you want to use in Cricut Design Space. PNG is an image file that you can just uh, click on it so you can see what it looks like. Uh, the PDF, well, you know what PDF usually is the, the file that you can read with Adobe um, Acrobat Reader. And you have a DX, the DXF too, a DXF file. So this DXF file is for those who have Silhouette and don't have the Silhouette Design Studio um, I have the free version of the Silhouette Design Studio because for Silhouette, you need to buy Silhouette Studio if you want to upload SVG. So we're lucky we're having, we have Cricut or maybe you don't, but I have Cricut and I'm happy with the SVG file that I don't need to buy anything to upload them in Cricut Design Space. So in order to, to uh, download them to your computer, you need to either click download if you only want one file or you can click right here it says download all I'm sorry this browser is in French so <laughs> okay so I want to show you what happens if you click on your the file and you are logged in to your Google account or your Google Drive this is what you're gonna see it's not the exact same thing as you see uh, you saw before so everything is still there um, uh, the difference is that you don't have the download button right here. So what you need to do is click on the, the file you want and either go and right click on it and go to download or you can click on those little three dots at the top and go download. So that's the way to do it. If you try to access it or you um, 
what happens a lot is that people wants to want to open it and forget to download it and that doesn't work. You can't modify those files inside of my Google Drive. You really need to download them on your computer first. So by doing right click and download, the file is going to appear right here. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those Apple users. I'm really, I'm really a, a Windows user. <laughs> so my trick I like to do is once it's downloaded, it always appears right here for me in um, Chrome. I'm in Google Chrome and I'll, I like to do show in folder. So usually, let me just scale it for you so you see it. Usually it goes to my download folder that's right here. So I'm going to click it. I'm not going to click it. I'm going to select it and I'm going to um, take it where I want to save it for later so I don't lose it. I won't do this right now. That's not the point of showing you that. But if you don't know where you downloaded it, that's a great trick to do. So just go here and go show show in folder. That's something you probably don't see right now. Let me just right here and it goes show in folder. <laughs> it was out of the screen. I'm sorry. So in Cricut Design Space, you're going to click on upload and upload image. I always do that in my videos. I'm going to go a bit slowly today. So you see, they, they get to, um, let's go back. They tell you you can upload images, JPEG, GIF, PNG, BPM, da, 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 and SVG. SVG are the ones we want. The XF, like I said, are for are really less quality files. They don't have the colors and they are not um, complete. But they are better than nothing and they are better than PNG. So we want the SVG files. So let's go to upload image and browse. We're going to upload the SVG files right here. And we're going to save it and let's click on insert image. Now, which each of my files are will always be grouped in one um, group. So if you want to make some modification on them, you really need to ungroup. I won't do it right now. You'll see later why, because I want to compare files to other to another file. Um, so in an SVG, everything is separated. You can move them, you can scale them, and the quality will still be the same, even if you scale it very, very, very big. The comparison I want to make is if I go ahead and upload, let's try the DXF first. So DXF will appear as like black, right? Like that. But all the, the layers are there. But let me insert it. First, it's pretty big. I have no clue why. And then all the circles that were holes in this and this one are now circles. There are no, not holes anymore. So if I just, let me just, you see, if I just close them all, they are circles on top of this. So it's not really fun. <laughs> it's not really useful. You need you will need then to select this and select this one and then slice it in order to have a hole. So one by one, you'll need to do that. So it's better than anything, but it's not really the best. The best is the SVG file. So let me just delete this one because it's taking too much space. <laughs> And the last thing I want to compare with you is if you upload the PNG file. So the PNG file is an image. I usually make it if people just want to print it or see it better, just have a look at it at what it looks like. I don't usually make it so you can uh, use it in Cricut Design Space. But let's say, um, let's say I just insert it to show it to you. Um, you, you have three options, either simple, you see I don't have the blue, moderate, I still don't have the blue there, and complex with all the details. So let's let's say I take complex. And what you'll see right now, I'll zoom in, PNG files already have, uh, the background is already erased. So um, what you could do is, let's say, erase those circles. 
and have them cut. But let's do a preview. You see, they don't really look like circles because the image quality is pretty... not really good. It's not a, a big, big image. I don't make it as big because I just want you to use it as a visualization. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think my my uh, brain is not working properly today <laughs> due to my uh, my cold. Okay, so <laughs> you can't... you see, it's it's just for visual purpose, so... Let's say we continue like that. Now you're going to have two options. Now, that's where people usually get mixed up. If you go ahead and say, hey, no, I want this one because I want all the colors and everything. I want all the layers. Well, you won't have all the layers because this one is as save as a print and cut. That means uh, Cricut will want to print this one and then it's going to go and cut around it and cut those little one, two, three, four, five circles I made. So let's go and save it. You'll see what happens. And you can already see the difference between the quality of the, those two images. And it's pretty small. Let's make it as big as the other one. So you can see the difference. First, it's a cut, cut and print. And then it doesn't have all of the layers and the quality is not really good. So my PNG files that I make for you are really for uh, visualization, for you to know what's inside the file. Because when you're in... Um, your explorer, you don't usually see uh, the SVG file, what's in it. You just see the title of the SVG. So I hope that helped you. I really hope I didn't forget anything. And if I did, please leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel next week. Well, in two weeks, we're going to be making some uh, spring time uh, crafts so i'm really excited about that because i need the snow to melt <laughs> see you then bye bye